video and I'm down Southsea Community Gardens and I'm with Jenny who's just going to take us for a quick tour around Southsea Community Gardens. So Jenny how you been and just yeah just take us for wherever you like. Okay right well so you'll know you've arrived at Southsea Green Community Garden because we're opposite the playground at Canoe Lake in between Cafe Fresco and Cumberland House Natural History Museum and you'll see our lovely peace sign on the gate so come on in. So we've been down here since about 2014 and before that we were a little red hut down on the seafront which was founded by Sue Stokes and over the years it's changed from a cooperative to an adopter plotters and now to South Sea Green Association. So we've, um, we're run by volunteers and we're always looking for new volunteers to come down and help in the garden, help behind the scenes, do admin, marketing, fundraising, that sort of thing. Or if people just want to come down and enjoy a little bit of time in the garden, they're very welcome to do that. No pressure, you don't have to be a volunteer, you can just come along when we're open. So you can check out all of our information online, but I'll give you all that information at the end. So come along, let's go and have a tour around the garden. So first thing I'd like to show you is this little tree. Um, so I think... Um, I think it's a bay tree, but I might be wrong. So I'm not one of the I'm not one of the knowledgeable gardeners here. Um, we this this year we had an open day, and we had one last year as well. And um, we use this tree to basically capture people's wishes. So these these ribbons are people's wishes for themselves, for their family, for nature, and um, just kind of like spark a little bit of hope and positivity and colour for when you came in the garden especially now as it's going to winter so everything's dying down but there's always lots going on all throughout the year um, we've got things planted at the moment for kind of spring and things but um, yeah come along and have a look around the garden we've got different beds and trees and plants and herbs growing a little wishing tree so if you come along you can chuck in a few pennies and uh, make a wish for yourself as well this is an area where we have workshops and talks and sit around and have tea and cake and natter and um, here we've got a sign which um, is our dig for victory sign which a few years ago um, we got some funding to basically create a bed which showed how you could grow vegetables all year round, um, kind of like following the pattern that they used back during World War II, so that they could always have vegetables growing at home all year round. And um, yeah, that's the remaining sign from, from what we did. And um, here we've got our, our pond, which is run by, uh, we've got a little fountain, which is run by a solar panel, so kind of keep it as green as possible. And um, Kids love exploring the pond and looking for tadpoles and newts and, um, and the fish that we've got down there. So um, yeah, there's lots of, lots of life growing in the pond. So moving further on, we've got lots of beds. Um, not so much growing um, over the winter at the moment, but we're starting to plant things up. Um, and Goff, our head gardener, he's in charge of that and leading a group of volunteers who get together on a Tuesday to come down and plant seeds and weed and just clear out the, the garden so people can come along and get involved with that if they want to. And, um, and then we have the first gathering on the Saturday, um, first Saturday of the month, we have a, a gathering again where we'll do like group gardening projects and then people open up at different ad hoc times just to get things done. So yeah, come along. I'm not going to give you all the technical stuff of the plants growing because that's not my area of expertise. But I, I love this garden and, um, and I've been involved for quite a while and it just brings me so much joy um, being down here. And it's kind of like a little secret garden in South Sea. And um, yeah, we're working really hard at the moment to get more funding, try and get more people coming down here, doing some outreach projects, getting into schools and um, yeah, and just open up more and get more people being able to benefit from being outdoors in the garden. It's so good for your mental health, it's so good for your physical well-being. Um, sense of community spirit all coming together to help each other on a, a group project 
so yeah, so it's a really special place. So come along. Plenty more to see down here. <laughs> so we've got some water butts that we um, collect water. So when in the summer, when it's a bit dry, um, hopefully we can use that so that we don't have to always take from the, uh, the hose. Um, and when this used to be um, a cooperative many years ago, we had a lot of artists down here as well. And um, so some of the water butts, they're still painted by some of the artists. And um, fortunately that one, it looks like it's, it's come off, but um, yeah. That's another one of the, um, the, like, the little secret things about the garden is there's lots of little hidden bits of art. There's um, stones have been painted um, and sometimes painted by children when we've done workshops and things over the, um, over the years. Um, so yeah, come and have a look or come and explore what else is still thriving in the garden. So this is, this is a fun plant. So this is nasturtium and um, it's actually an edible flower. You can eat the leaves of these ones and you can also eat the flowers. And um, just to prove, I'm not just being, not just saying it for the fun of it. It's actually really yummy and um, goes really nicely on salads. So yeah, so things that you wouldn't necessarily know you can eat, you can eat those as well. And um, this bed, this bed here is um, our herbal medicine bed and um, uh, Wendy Budd from Budd's Herbal Apothecary helped me and Sam set this up and um, obviously there's still things which are evergreen and keep growing all year round and so you can make um, herbs for your family's well-being um, and yeah so hopefully next year we'll have some more growing and we can refresh what's already in there and um, maybe get Wendy in to do some more talks and workshops because they've always been a huge huge success down at the garden Okay, I'm going to take you into our polytunnel. This is where we have all of the seeds planted over springtime, um, ready to, or over winter, ready to be planted in the spring. We've got some leaves growing here, we've got some celery, we've got some um, peppers, some rocket, some lettuce, and my favourite is mustard leaves. This, this is a, a mustard leaf and uh, it's really peppery really hot and um yeah no i love it and um, yes yeah, so we have all tools and things in here and oh the wormery nearly forgot the wormery so we've got a little um little family of worms growing in here or living in here and then um we put food and in there and then it basically mulches all down and then we turn this tap and we get fertilizer for the garden to help everything grow nice and naturally so we'll go start heading right back to the end of the garden so here we go so it's uh it's not the widest of gardens but it's very long and we uh, make the most of the space that we've got Okay, so we've got our sheds where we keep our tools and everything in here. And then this is our composting area where people can come down, bring any of their old scraps, uncooked of course, and then pop it into the, the compost and then we've got a team of people who know how to look after this and basically make sure that it's all mulching down properly and then we pop it into the spinner here. And then it gets spun every every day ideally so then it continues to break down and then we can have our own compost in the garden and finally i think the last thing i want to share with you about our beautiful garden is this amazing fig tree that we've got growing here um, actually in the cumberland um cumberland house garden it comes over the fence over into our garden provides me my shade over in the summer and uh, it was actually planted by uh, Queen Victoria's sister Princess Beatrice a very very long time ago so we've got a little bit of history here going way way back and um, so yeah so that's really South Sea Green Community Garden 
and if you want to find out about how you can get involved you can come down um, on say Tuesday between like 11 and 12 and that's when we tend to be open um, but the best thing to do is really keep an eye on our Facebook page which is South Sea Green um, or it's a about 3,000 people on, on the page, so it's our public page. Um, you can email us, um, we can go on our website, which is southseagreen.uk, I think. Um, maybe you can put all these details in your um, caption, in case I'm not saying it correctly. Yeah, I will do, don't worry. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we, we meet, we have a group of gardeners who come down on a Tuesday, tends to be at 11 till 12, and then we're starting to do our gathering, garden gathering on the first Saturday of the month. But yeah, keep an eye out on, on our private Facebook page or get in contact us via email, and, um, and then we'll let you know exactly when things are happening. So um, yeah, hopefully we'll see you down here and you too can enjoy some of the benefits of our lovely garden. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you, Jenny. It's been amazing, like, being here and everything. Just, like, I've never actually seen, like, like <laughs> there. Never actually known, like, this place was here before. So to actually just see it and just, like, just have a look around and just, it's just amazing, like, what you don't realise is actually here. So, yeah, just keep up what you're doing because you're doing brilliant. Thank you. All right, see you later. Bye.